uh, what happens. The decentralized finance, and I'm looking at uh, Uniswap has long reigned as a dominant force. However, a recent analysis by Lark Davis, a Bitcoin investor, seems to suggest translating a decentralized exchange on Avalanche, a highly scalable blockchain. And Ethereum's competitor could eventually emerge as a formidable competitor, even overtaking Uniswap. Uh, in a post on X on December 12th, uh, Davis uh, noted a discrepancy in the relative valuation between uh, Joe and UNI, which serve as uh, governance tokens of uh, Uniswap and Trader Joe, and specifically uh, the investors uh, noted uh, the Trader Joe's hand is around $300 million uh, daily trading volume uh, on Avalanche loan. And on the other hand, Uniswap processes approximately $1.6 million in daily volume across the Ethereum mainnet and Arbitrum, the largest layer two platform by total value locked by Ethereum. Uh, Davis further noted that despite this small difference in trading volume, uh, Trader Joe's has a market capitalization of only $238 million. Meanwhile, Uniswap has a market cap of $3.6 billion, according to CoinMarketCap data. Uh, even with relatively narrow average trading volume, the huge difference in market capitalization suggests that Joe is significantly undervalued relative to you and I. Accordingly, this gap will likely be narrow in the future, with Joey appreciating versus you and I possibly benefiting holders. Uh, Davis also pointed out Joe's potential saying the token rewards holders with USDC yields, uh, this is different from you and I, where holders can vote on proposals and nothing else. And this happens, the investor's preview, besides the undervaluation. This feature could further enhance Joey's appeal, even contributing to its upside potential. And as the crypto market recovers, Avalanche might also present additional advantages to traders and therefore Trader Joe. The modern blockchain is scalable and has relatively low fees regardless of network activity. With crypto prices expanding, Ethereum gas fees have been rising in tandem, discouraging mainnet transfers. This has rerouted activity to layer twos like Arbitrum and competing platforms, including Avalanche. Medicaid uh, when writing on December 12th, DeFi Lama data shows that Trader Joe has a TVL of $149 million of which most assets are tied to Avalanche. Only $1 million is well on Ethereum. Joe has been on an uptrend, rising 170% from October 2023 lows. The token is cooling off looking at price action on the daily chart.